Do you actually think that Jesus told us everything? And we think that we, we got everything here. And, and then the sad part is, it, is we're not really going back and looking at, okay, so who gave us the Bible? Greetings, y'all, and welcome to Seek Things Above TV. I'm your host, Lou Chikuni. So today we are taking a look at Creflo Dollar, the man whose name is so appropriate for his ministry and what he's all about. But before we do, y'all know what to do. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, sharing the video, ringing the bell for notifications, doing all the stuff that lets YouTube know that you like content like this. But let's hop right into this video and let's comment on it as we go along. They have us. They have declared their dependence to something with with greater value than they give me. And then they say that they trust me, but they end up trusting the thing they assign the value to as long as it make them happy. So it should happen is be the ultimate goal. And I'm sitting there like, God, you blow my mind. Where are these scriptures at? Now, you in the Bible right now. Just just keep going. I was like, well, what chapter verse? Ain't no chapter and verse. I'm trying to talk to you. Think. And then after I finished thinking, then he'll show me what he was doing in the scripture, but didn't have time to unfold the whole thing out. It's hard to catch the context of what is exactly going on here, but it seems that Creflo Dollar is somehow insinuating that God would speak to him and those things that God is speaking to him aren't even in the scriptures or they're not necessarily, uh, you know, explicitly explained in the scriptures, or at least at that moment, they're, they're not there. And then somehow Creflo has this word from God. And then afterwards he realizes that those things were in the scriptures that right there is problematic because we know that in former days, God spoke through the prophets, but in these last days he has spoken through his son. Okay. So we has, he has spoken through his son. We have the word of God. We have a closed Canon, we have the scriptures, and we don't have any more revelation being given. Okay, we don't have any more revelation being given. We don't have prophets, at least, definitely not in the sense of what we saw, what is seen in the scriptures. We don't have that today. This, I think, is the most problematic part is that you must understand that even if you think that the Holy Spirit was talking to you, right. If you think God, the spirit is speaking to you, he is never going to speak something to you and he would never speak something to you that is contrary to what is written in the scriptures. Okay. You, you would not find it. And so immediately there's a massive credibility issue just from a biblical standpoint on what Creflo Dollar is talking about right here. If I finish thinking, then he'll show me what he was doing in the scripture, but didn't have time to unfold the whole thing out. Does God want you happy? Yes, he wants you happy. Does he want you happy even if you have to, to, to give a greater value to something else other than him? No. Happiness at all costs. And I started thinking, oh, my goodness, are there going to be people alive today that will follow me as I leave from the future? Instead of from the past. Yeah. There are not, not too many places I can go preach right now. Seriously, because they think this guy has lost it. But what I'm doing is I'm seeing through these new covenant eyes where there was. Do you actually think that Jesus told us everything? He even said there wouldn't be enough books. And we think that we, we got everything here. And, and then the sad part is, it, is we're not really going back and looking at, okay, so who gave us the Bible? Okay, so Creflo is in some very dangerous territory right here, and it's not even funny, okay? He is now starting to say that do you think, like he mentions, he says, do you think Jesus told us everything? Do you think everything that was ever spoken by Christ is in the Bible? Nobody has ever claimed that who is a responsible student of the Bible. And that is not what doctrines or 
uh, phrases like sola scriptura mean? OK, when we talk about sola scriptura, which is one of the five solas of the Protestant Reformation. OK, these are things that were uh, formulated as the reformers thought through. How do we understand our our Christian walk and what what how we're supposed to live and how we're supposed to view God's word and all of these things? And so we understand from sola scriptura that what is written in the Bible is sufficient for our salvation and for our spiritual life so that we can thrive and obey God and honor him and follow him. And ultimately we have everything that we need as the scripture says, we have everything that we need for life and godliness. We have that in the scriptures. Okay. And so even as far as principles for us to decide on things that aren't explicit in scripture, those things exist the principles are there that we can draw from and we can make informed decisions that are biblically sound right from the text of the Bible, even if it is something that is not explicitly mentioned. So this is the point he's making. Not everything is written down. So there are things that God is still saying and he's saying them to people like me because he mentions he's looking at things through new covenant eyes. So he's saying that God is saying things to people like him. And someone like him cannot just preach in a regular place anymore because he's on some other level right now, right? He's on some other spiritual uh, plane, another dimension that is where he's operating from. And so he can't just preach anywhere else because people don't get it. And why do people not get it? Because he's saying things in a way that is not or he's saying things that are not written in the scriptures. OK, he's talking about things that aren't necessarily plain in the Bible or written in the Bible at all. And that is the claim that he's making here, which is extremely dangerous. And it is another major red flag. This is a red flag. When you see a preacher start to talk about the, the word of God in a way that is uh, trying to discredit or to undervalue God's word and they are instead elevating their thoughts and the so-called revelation that they're getting directly from God. When you see that flee from that church, understand that you should not be listening to such teachers. And that man is a false teacher. And, and then the sad part is it is we're not really going back and looking at, okay, so who gave us the Bible? Who put it together? Be careful. Where did it come from? Historically speaking, where did it come from? Yes, sir. I'm not going to talk about that right now. This right. That's not saying that, that's, that, 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 that something's wrong in there. I'm just saying you have to read it carefully. It is truly despicable for a pastor like Creflo Dollar to try to discredit the Bible in order to elevate himself. And you see this tactic that he does here where he's now kind of trying to put some doubt or to kind of say, hey, man, you know, the Bible is like this, like that. You know, we don't quite know. Have you ever thought how we got it? So how did we get it, Mr. Dollar? How did we get it? Do you know how we got it? And do you think how we have the scriptures today? Do you think the God that you're claiming to speak for is was not is not up to the task of preserving his word and making sure that what we have today is actually the word of God as written by men who are inspired by the Holy Spirit to write the scriptures for us. Do you actually believe that? Because that is what we believe. And that's not only what we believe blindly, but we have the Bible has been tested. OK, the scriptures that you are reading today, the Gospels, the documents, the uh, various books, everything that you're seeing in here in the word of God in the 66 books of the canon has been rigorously tested and examined before being gathered in this canon that we have today. OK, you have people claiming things like, oh, the Bible was put together at the Council of Nicaea and that's where they decided that Jesus was God and all this stuff. No. That is completely nonsense. That is something that you saw on the Da Vinci Code. Go and read and study this stuff. The scriptures were there long before, and what was actually believed by Christians was already there. People knew what they believed, and they knew the books that they actually confirmed already at that time. And so you had books 
that were actually disqualifying themselves. False gospels, Gnostic gospels. You had gospels that are written, claimed to be written by an apostle that weren't even written by an apostle. So you had all these things. So trust and believe that when you look at the Bible today, you can have full confidence that what you're reading is God's preserved word and it was authored by people, men who were led along by the spirit as the word of God says. Another interesting thing is that it's always these pastors whose theology is really shallow, right? Who seem to be seeking to have more revelation, okay? They always seek more revelation and that's because they don't even grasp the, the magnitude of what you have in your hand. They don't even grasp and, and they don't even look at the Bible in the sense that this is an exhaustible. You could read the Bible for your entire life, lifetime and not be able to exhaust everything that's in there. But yet you have guys like Creflo trying to basically tell you that, you know, yo, there's, there's other stuff out there. There's, there's God speaking to me directly. There's me hearing and there's stuff that I'm hearing that ain't even in here. That's kind of what he's insinuating here. You know, and so listen, mark and avoid dudes like Creflo Dollar. When you hear teachers say these sort of things, mark and avoid it. And this is a caution that I, I, I'm imploring you to do that for your own spiritual health. Because at the end of the day, we're not just here talking about these leaders and these false teachers just to uh, critique their ministries or critique the things they're saying. But the point is we want you to be warned, to be aware, to be committed to growing in God's uh, word and will in a way that is correct and not be led astray by false teaching that seems to be appealing, but it has nothing to do with God's word. And in the end can actually lead you down the path of destruction. With all that being said, y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. All right? God bless y'all, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.